start off, split your hair into two sections. The one section is going to be thinner than the other one, so one third versus two thirds. And then just clip the underneath piece of hair to one side. For now, you can clip it to your shirt. And then we're going to start braiding the larger section of hair. So we'll give it a brush first, um, just to make sure it is tangle free. And then we'll start with our fishtail braid. So a fishtail braid is very simple. I have done tutorials on this in the past. But basically you split the hair into two equal sections and then you're going to grab small sections of hair from one side and pull them over to the large piece of hair on the other side. Um, also grab hair from the back of the section of hair and then add it to the piece of hair on the other side. And um, as you go you're just going to pull the braid tighter each time you sort of move a section of hair across. I do find it easier if you use your index finger to section off the hair um, as I'm going to do now. See, use your index finger and then just grab the hair onto the other side. So once you reach the end of the braid, you're just going to tie it with a small hair elastic and then we're going to move on to our next piece of hair. So brush this underneath section of hair and you're just going to repeat the process again, another fishtail braid exactly the same way you did it before. Once you reach the end of this braid, you're once again going to secure it tightly with your hair elastic. Now what you want to do is just tug gently at the ends of the braid, just to widen it up because you want to get it as wide as possible for, for the effect um, that you'll see at the end. So just gently tug at the ends of the braid, widening it up as far as possible. Um, you're going to do it on the large braid first and then you'll do it on the, sm the thinner braid as well. Now for your next step, you're just going to place the smaller braid on top of the thicker braid and you're just going to tie them together with a hair elastic. So they're not going to stay just by tying them. Um, what you're going to have to do is grab some bobby pins and you're just going to go in from behind and pin the one braid on top of the other. So kind of weave your bobby pin in at the back because you don't want it sticking out in the front. So just weave it through the hair at the back. enjoyed this tutorial and you're all going to give this braid a try at home. I know it looks so complicated when you look at it but it's actually so easy. Take care everybody, I'll see you all soon. Bye!